What's up? This is 256 Pin Doctor. DJ Show Straight, you know. Big up a number one show, Campus Jazz. Straight! Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. It's your host, QC, on yet another Saturday of the Campus Jazz Show. I know, you know, it's been a hectic week and you're chilling out, you know. Saturday's coming in, your evening's coming in, the weekends are finally settling in. But we got something special for you today. It's not about for the ladies and a few gentlemen out there. But ladies, if you insist, the gentleman will be a part of this. <laughs> All right. Your host is usual QC and join on studio today with Zam Kizabu. With Zam here, who's going to be talking about how to take care of yourself. Am I right, Zam? Yeah, I talk about your skin. Okay, so if you want to have a really good skin, you know, I mean, I can get Zam come back. But all you have to do is just be a part of the show, pay a close attention, remember, you can be on any part of the show. All you have to do is just log into our Facebook page, which is The Compost Show. Or at Twitter at the Campus to Show. Follow me on Instagram, Campus to Show, and we'll be in here. Also, you can call the two numbers on your screen, and we'll have a job for rap. But first, let's go check out the cribs, and when we come back, we'll be talking deeper, deeper into the skin. It's not a science class, by the way, so we're not going to go to the dummies, upper dummies, bitchy bitchy. I know what you know. You know, let's go check out the cribs. All right. Don't come to my room. Come check me out. Yeah, this is this is my room. You're very welcome. I'm just here chilling with my boys, as you can see. So this is Prezo. That's my boy Prezo. That's my room boy Jose. And this is Emma. As you can see, this is a boys' room. Don't call it a dormitory. We're just chilling on a Sunday. This is a simple room, as you can see it. That's my stand where I put all my stuff and everything. As you can see, my eggs do. No, some babes come here and do them as. You know, then this, this is my utensils. These are my utensils. And uh, this is my screen. My very big screen. I imported it from Dubai like two months back. And you can see, as I'm just here chilling with my boys playing Pasa. And um, as, as you came in, I was just doing some, some cooking. I don't know if you guys can can take some just doing some cooking as you can see it's just just a boy's stuff and this is my simple bed you know boys thing not laid just here chilling but I think it's it's okay with that this is my closet that you can as as you can see more clothes are just dirty this is <laughs> this is my outfit so you guys are welcome <laughs> I'm introducing my suspense. <laughs> this is my reading table, as you can see, I chill and do some reading. Sometimes, not every day so as you can see that's that's when I, when, when I'm having tests and you know because oh, every time I'm just chilling with my buddies and you, you know this these are my personal things and this is my car my car gas stove you know boys sing boys stuff so guys thank you for checking out my room Julius Kaye thank you guys campus jazz have a blessed day Welcome back. That was the cribs for you, and I hope you enjoyed it. All right. So um, I know you're curious about this lady next to me. All right. So um, the flow is yours. Where are you from? Um, I'm from African Queen. My name is Zam Kizabu. Um, Hakka Souls Rep. African Queen is a soul distributing company. And when I talk about Hakko, obviously you understand about Miyadi, Amara Lotions, TCB. Oh, okay, so basically all the good stuff you need for your skin, how to look good, you know, how to look good like Charlie. <laughs> I know I talk about this guy a lot, you don't even know him, right? Okay, um, Zam, tell me, uh, what type of skins are there? Mm, we have the oily skins, the dry skins and the normal skins. Like mine, I can't say it's a normal skin. The oily skins, these are the skins you'll find even after showering, before anyone applying any lotion, the skin is already oily. There are some others that are dry. If another person applies the lotion, it's 
stays dry. So you have to understand the right lotions you have to use on your skin. We have to also fight so hard. In the, some lotions contain hydroquinone, which is not very good to our skin. But you have lotions like Amara. There is no hydroquinone in it. It maintains your skin. It's looking good. It doesn't bleach. It's your skin smooth. You have the Amara's for men. Amara, aloe vera, glycerin, avocado. They're all so good. All right. And uh, basically, what type of skin do I have? You have a normal skin. Yeah, I'm normal. I'm a survivor. All right, guys, let's go check out the one-on-one. -on -one. When we come back, we'll go deeper, deeper into the skin thing. So next time you go buy a lotion, I think you're going to check out what the contents are and you'll just get one and use, all right? Remember, you can be on any part of the show. All you have to do is just log on to our Facebook page, which is at the Compass to Show. You know you can be on part, any part of the show. All you have to do is just check out our Facebook page, at the, which is the Compass to Show. You can do me on Twitter, at the Compass to Show, or you can dial the number, the number of the screen, and you can get to know more and more about your skin, all right? Let's go check out the one one and we'll be back after these segments. The business. business. Like a kid craving your love. I've been counting down the days you've been gone. Um, my name is Kamara Josephine, a student at MOOC, Macquarie University main campus. I'm in my second year doing mass communication and a model with Trends Models Uganda. I did my primary at St. Noah Junior Building School. Then my O level at St. Michael High School, then my A level at St. Noah Girls Secondary School. What inspired me to be a model? My attitude and unique character. Um, I believe when you're a model, when you're on set, it's all about the attitude that you give to the camera people. So if I give them my attitude of being a freelance person, I believe that's what makes me unique because from the other models. Um, everything has its own time, I guess. So when it's time for me to go for my lectures, I'll obviously have to go for the lectures. When it's time for me to work, I have to be at work. Um, if I'm not at school and I'm not, I do research on fashion. I do fashion research. Um, the latest trends on on market, and yeah, a lot of taking, are uh, researching the fashion designers in the different parts of the world and trying to join their work and see what can come out of it. I love to go swimming and just to keep in shape, and I listen to music just to relieve myself of all the stress and the burdens. Yeah, I love hip hop and nationally my best MC is Enigma and internationally Eminem. My favorite dish, I like Irish and beef. And my dad, I try to keep uh, the oils lace and taking more vegetables. Uh, I prefer like, my relationship status person. Um, my advice to the freshers would be um, they should actually just know what brought them to campus because most of them believe when they come to campus it's all about partying and having fun but they should stick to the number one reason that campus then the fun will come in afterwards. Welcome back from the one-on-one. -on -one. It's a young lady who's chasing her dream of becoming a model. She actually is a model with trans models. Anyway, um, talking about models and models are all about looking good. So if you're, not, if you're looking good, you still have to maintain your skin. So we have to go back to Zam here. Zam, so the different type of skins that you broke down, the normal skins, the, the greasy skins, and the, the, the dry skins, all right? So tell me, let's talk about the greasy skin. What, what usually happens with the greasy skin? The greasy skin usually contains a lot of oils. Okay. 
yeah then though when you walk in the sunshine you see that person is shining like as if it's a mirror oh, you have always to glittering. yeah always glittering at times that's why you find girls have to apply a lot of powder foundation so if you have a greasy skin try buying like foundations there's some foundations that we can apply on our skin they stick on it and it won't need too much applying again because you know every time you're going to be shining when you apply a foundation on your skin you'll whenever you, you try getting shiny glittering again you just be looking good and while buying lotions we have also to consider on what lotions you're buying okay you have to first read most of the lotions we're having in Uganda market here today they contain hydroquinone what does that do hydroquinone is for bleaching which is not so good uh, when you get into bleaching our skins actually we spoil our skins because yeah. put off the first skin okay. and so you have to see what vitamins are in that lotion that you're buying at least see if there is some vitamin e some vitamin a that's very good for your skin it leaves your skin glowing smooth and it's good for everyone okay. everyone who look at you will be like you look like a baby <laughs> and that's what you all want. Okay. Our skin's looking good. So you have to read. Take note before buying any lotion. First read of the ingredients, what it contains. There is just saying it's also found in lotions. It's also very good. You have to consider such. Also some scents. Some lotions that are over-scented are not very good. You have to first understand your skin type. Um, it's, it's usually men who love the scented skin, the scented uh, lotions. So if it's a scented lo the reasons why men want those scented lotions, because men over sweat. And they give out body odor. They give out body odor. So okay. they really deserve those kind of the over scented lotions. And those over scented lotions, usually they contain just saying that just saying it's a cleansing it has some cleanser in it it cleanses your skin leaving your skin looking good preventing those pimples those rashes so you have to understand your skin as well take note while reading while buying lotions you have to first read understand what am i buying so guys um uh, next time you're going and you find a guy selling uh, that looking will cost you your good looks <laughs> I'm, I'm very very serious all right next up is swag now you after getting this tip guys i believe next show eh? take me to the places where they buy their lotions trust the places don't just go on the streets and buy lotions Oh, did they? That's another tip for you. All right, let's go check out Swag. Remember, you can be on any part of the show. All you have to do is just highlight us on our Facebook page, which is the Compass to Show. You, or you can add Compass to Show, and you can do a one-on-one. -on -one. We can chat. We can, you know, it's a friendly account. You can follow me on Twitter at the Compass to Show. And well, well, you guys, you can also dial those numbers. We will give you tips, health skin tips. You know, we got Zam in the studio. <laughs> All right, let's go check out. Um, the swag and we'll come back Zam will be giving us more and more info about the skin and where she's coming from and why they're doing this all right let go you got a swag, swag, swag and then pole Maybach music in the world of so many. Kunda Felix, I'm a law student at Nkumba University. Currently in my third year, I'm also being uh, the former president of the law school. Yo, this is Jamo, aka Opoka James. I'm in Nkumba University. I'm doing uh, industrial art and graphic design. Today is Saturday, so I like to keep it simple. With it a little bit chilly, just to put in a light sweater, light jeans, uh, Nike sneakers. That's what it is. Yo, 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 as you see me here, I'm a basketball player. I'm just from the court, I got my Sprite on, little water, my Jordan, and some Adidas sneaks down there. I keep it clean all the time. Playing ball like uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, man. That's my swag. Well, I'm, uh, I'm very, very extravagant. I like to keep it simple. That's why I'm riding a Raoul Toyota. 
Um, I don't spend so much. I spend most of my time reading it. Just like to keep it low. But then they're okay. Yeah. My account is loaded. So I'll keep it. The money, the money is the money, man. The money you can count, man. The money is there today, it's not there tomorrow, but man, we keep it cool, you know? Hustle goes on, hustle comes round and round. But man, you keep on like going round and once it's life, it's life. Sundays, Pena Beach, yeah, that's it. Uh, I like to keep it Nokia. It's a bit original. It's a bit Asian as well. I hold my Nokia too tame. I love to hold this small Nokia so I keep my money, all my Benjamins. Yeah, so just just like it's simple as I say. Hey, and to all my guys who love the nice gadgets, I'm linked up with the Nokia Asher 210. Wow, it's dope. It has Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, and everything. A dope battery, man. You better get yourself one. Peace out. One love. I mean, sometimes uh, I like to keep it original. I do what makes me happy. I mean, I reflect my dream. Uh, I'm more swelled than others because I'm basically me. I'm basically Jemo. I'm a rasta. I'm a hip hop guy. You can come and link me up at Nkumba. We do some music. I got a small studio with me. Hey guys, I don't want you to miss out on this. Just come and do some music. We play some ball, have fun. Do Yeah, we live in a dream, that's my stand. Ghetto and homeboy. Yo, this is the Compass Jazz. We're chilling together, you can feel the flow in me. I got my Nokia, I'm feeling fresh on the mic, man. You see me on the camp, I made it, boy, yeah. It's your boy, Jemo. I love my boys out there. I love all my boys of Mook. Moves. Where else? Bulu University? <laughs> nice one. Peace out. All the way from Nkumba in Entebbe. Welcome back. That was the swag for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, you can be on any part of the show. If you feel you have better swag, then all you have to do is just highlight us on my Facebook page, which is The Compost Show or add Compass to Show. You can just dial the numbers on your screen or you can follow me on Twitter at the Compass to Show, even on Instagram. And today we'll be giving you tips on how to look good. I mean, the skin, you know what it is? It's important to keep healthy. And we have uh, Zam from African Queen who's gonna give, be giving us details about the skin. All right, so we already talked about the greasy skin. So let's go check out the dry skin. Zam, are we sure you ready? Yeah. Okay. With the dry skin, usually it's a dry skin. We need to make it oily, make it soft, make it look good. With a dry skin or a device, while buying, while, while buying lotions, you should consider the lotions that contain milk. While buying the body milk lotions, you have to read first if it contains milk in it, the saying. So, and you should also take a lot of milk, eat well, have a lot enough exercise because all it goes back to what we eat. If you don't eat well, you'll always not have a good skin. Despite the fact you have to buy lotions to apply in our skins. So eat well, drink a lot of water, have enough fruits. Wash your skin thoroughly before applying any lotions on it. You have to wash it with soap. Then apply a lotion that contains body milk in it if it's a dry skin. Then those guys who have pimples, I advise you to use lotions that contain aloe vera in it. Because aloe vera helps a lot on pimples. Okay. Um, to, I wanted to ask this, how about acne? Acne, yeah. Acne is also a pimple of its type. Those are the big pimples that we find in our skin. It's paining, it's not, it doesn't have any sharp end at top of it. You can also use aloe vera, lotions that contain aloe vera in it. Okay, so when, let's go check out the, what you say and the bulletin. When we come back, we'll be teaching, telling you how to maintain your good skin, alright? I remember you can be on any part of the show and of course Zam will be giving you direct links on where to get those products, alright? So let's go check out and remember you can be on any part of the show. All you have to do is just highlight us on our Facebook page which is The Campus to Show or you can follow me on Twitter at The Campus to Show or you can do the Instagram at Campus to Show or you can follow me QC7. You know what it is. Let's go check out the two segments and we'll be back. Zam will be finalizing with us on how to take care, good care of ourselves. Let go. 
Welcome back. This is the bullet, uh, bulletin. Now we'll give you the freshest, the illest, the dopest news coming up. First of all, guys in Chambogo, man, I heard actually what is what came out there after exams, man. There's no break. You guys have to go back to class. I know it's tight, but you'll be okay. But I guess the lecturers will give you a two-week break. It happens, man. I'm joking. When the time starts, the semester starts. Okay, you guys never show up for lectures. I hope I <laughs> snub up your honor. <laughs> All right, talking about Macquarie University, guys. Um, what can I say? I feel your pain. All right, let's go to international music. Wait, 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 wait. Still local. Charlie, man, you heard about Juliana? Apparently, this guy, Prince something, uh, King Julian. I'm not talking about mother guy. This guy actually said, all right, I read it from the papers. Um, if Juliana dumps the guy, dumps the guy? The guy's gonna release a video. I mean, are you that desperate? If a girl doesn't like you, man, what you tell you? Life goes on, Munai. Don't you agree? And then, come on. So, um, Desire is in the text pictures in her swimming costume, and people call it nude. What's with that? She's in a costume. What do you want to do, her to swim with? I, I don't get that. I mean, okay, that's me. Uh, you guys can tell me what you think about that. Is a swimming costume if. I mean, if you're going to swim, you're going to wear a swimming costume at the end of the day. I don't really find that. Okay, enough. Let's go to the entertainment industry. All right, I read it from the papers. Um, if Juliana dumps the guy, dumps the guy, the guy's going to release a video. I mean, are you that desperate? If a girl doesn't like you, man, what you tell you? Life goes on, man. Don't you agree? And then, come on. So, um, Desire is in the text pictures in her swimming costume and people call it nude. What's with that? She's in a costume, what do you want to do her to swim with? I, I don't get that. I mean, okay, that's me. Uh, you guys can tell me what you think about that. Is a swimming costume if... I mean, if you're going to swim, you're going to wear a swimming costume at the end of the day. I don't really find that. Okay, enough. Let's go to the entertainment industry. All right, 2 chains and Lil Wayne also re released a new video. Wacket season. All right, Fabulous sent out uh, Happy Holidays wishes by releasing a free mixtape. Here is where the soul goes. Snoop Dogg will be releasing a video. I actually released a video featuring Coldy Bud. Smoke some sensitive. Hey, what's up? How are you, everybody? My name is Hans Tactic, super producer, super dope beat maker, and you're watching Campus Jazz. Stay tuned. What you say? Mm, that you only meant well, but of course you did. Mm, what you say? Chase time to rule low. Uh, welcome to the What You Say. Today's question is quite something that we all go through. What would you consider when choosing a partner? Hey, how you doing, man? Good, how are you? Great, what's your name? Paul Katende. Alright, Katende. Um, what would you do, go for when you're considering? What would you choose when considering a partner? Basically, for me, I would go for intelligence. Intelligence? Why, why intelligence? Basically, because it caters from almost 70% of the kid. Yeah. yeah. Not the looks? Basi uh, no, I don't care more about the looks. Do you have a movie? No, not <laughs> bad. <laughs> but what I go for mainly, for housewife, I'll oh. go for intelligence. All right, basically, that's intelligence. All right, thanks a lot, man. Thank you too. Hi, hey man, how you doing? I'm doing fine, great. Uh, what's your name? I'm Corey Sawarin. Alright, uh, what would you consider when choosing a partner? Uh, definitely, that comes from someone's bottom of the heart. Basically, Mike would consider a woman who is right to me, depending on her body structure, um, integrity, then the level of education matters so much. The level of education? Yeah, and the background, where she comes from, the family, where the, she lives, the stays, you know. The parents, are they married officially or not? So that one determines a woman, how she will run your life, you get. But wait, 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 what level of education does it I for you? Like, at least she needs to be, uh, let's take uh, a level. A level? Yeah, that's senior six. But well, not that school drop out, like, you know, beyond senior four, now it doesn't work out. You know. but, but yeah, you know, there's some ladies who are, you know, like, all level, but they're smart, they're intelligent, they work hard, they're that doesn't count for you? Oh, that one will take me, that's when she's a hard-working woman. There, I would say maybe somehow, somewhere, but again, we can work it out. But you find, you find in front there, it's giving you hardship again. You're